Pisces, welcome to your timeless zodiac sign reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter placements in your birth chart. Okay, keep in mind that these are general, so not every Pisces will be going through this scenario here before us today. Take what resonates, leave the rest, do not make it fit if it does not apply. Okay, what doesn't um, seem um, relevant to you, remember that it could be relevant for someone else here. Um, it, this could be a he-she situation, a he-he situation, or a she-she situation. If I say he, it could be the other way around. It's going to be different for all of you. Please switch the roles as they fit for your story, um, if you resonate. Um, energies can be vice versa, even though this is a Pisces reading, because we also have people that watch for Pisces in other placements in their birth chart, and we also have cross-watchers. So please keep that in mind. Um... And if this resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up, hit that like button, and share if you will. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your time and your, your, all your beautiful, wonderful comments and your donations. I do appreciate them. So let's get into this. Pisces, what I was getting um, is there's somebody in your energy that really likes you. Uh, this could be someone in their 40s or late 30s and maybe older. Okay, so keep that in mind. But they are being held back by some a karmic okay now I'm not sure if they're in a relationship with this karmic or if this is a family member or co-worker but there is some sort of karmic lesson that they have to learn when it comes to that person um, this is somebody that is a giver and they want to give towards you okay they want to get to know you but right now they're being held back by this karmic um, now, I did see uh, entity attachment, so I feel like that karmic, uh, obviously they're low vibrational, but they have some sort of entity attachment on them. So, this is one of those situations where, you know, demons kind of work through people to stop things from coming together. So, or, you know, entities work through people to stop things from coming together because, you know, it's not just a human thing going on here. There's a lot of spiritual warfare out there and a lot of agendas in the spirit that don't want certain people coming together. Okay, and I feel like you're meeting someone very important to your purpose, your life, or your pathway, but they're right now kind of um, learning a lesson and awakening up to their own pathway, purpose, and connection to you. So let's see what this is about. Let's get into it. I know I was getting a lot of information for you guys, so let's see. One more shuffle here, and let's get to the heart of the matter. So they're clearing out some sort of karmic, yeah, the world. So this is where they need to um, close out a chapter in their life. So they've been being, they've been restricted by Saturn, the planet of karma, because they are clearing out a karmic cycle, okay? And sometimes this takes a long time, very restrictive energy. And I did sense that restriction. Um, so, and then after this finally closes, they learn this lesson, there's a new um, cycle that opens up for this person you know with the knowledge in hand and more wisdom and hopefully um, healing okay so I feel like you are this person saw you and they are in your energy because I feel like after the cycle you are meant to meet this person okay um, so we're gonna see here that's the heart of the matter is the world Okay, new cycles abound, new beginnings, new things coming into play. And, you know, the ruler of karma. So good karma, depending on where you're at in your life and what you have to learn. We're all on different levels, so keep that in mind. This is also someone that could be watching you on the World Wide Web is what I'm getting here. Okay, this may be somebody that does not live near you. Okay, this person could travel. I did see travel. Um, so this is somebody that may want may have to travel to see you when that happens um so you're gonna get some sort of um message from this person at some point but right now they're in the midst of learning 
Hold on a second. Okay. Learning something. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have Cracker. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. Yes. So keep keep the positive vibe going. Um, it's surrounding your energy, so you're magnetically drawing this person in. Um, and like this this cycle that's coming into play, you're already in this energy, okay, of love, joy, and good fortune awaits. And whatever this person is bringing to the table as well, it's like a blend of abundance and prosperity that comes in, in together. But you're already in that abundant energy. Okay, so you're, you're a walking manifestation. You're manifesting as you walk on your pathway. Okay. Whew. All right, Pisces, let's see what else. a protector a strong person very um somebody that's um learning how to be more confident speak up and be their courageous self okay chasing empty pursuits that offer nothing rather than seeking fulfillment within ourselves i definitely feel like this is this person okay maybe they're used to chasing what's not right for them okay this could have been an energy you're in but obviously that's the past because the world is here Okay. Blindness. Your tendency to overlook the obvious when you avoid confronting unsettling truths. Okay, so I feel like definitely this is this person. All right. Maybe in the past you were afraid to confront certain obvious truths. Okay. Um, but I feel like this person lacks that courage right now lacks that confidence and they're used to dating people that are in their shadow okay because they need to heal something they need to learn something there okay and they put on the blinders and pretend like you know nothing bad is happening or like that's not good for them that kind of energy okay overlooking the obvious like something's not working out something does not feel right because they're avoiding confrontation okay and maybe they don't want to hurt someone now this could be you or them take it how it resonates okay so let's see what else here faith faith in God loving and trusting him while acknowledging doubts okay I feel like this is you guys you have a lot of faith in God you have a lot of faith in your path okay even through doubts you still have faith that the most high will push you through whatever this is whatever you're going through or you know that's just the path you're on at this time yeah competition this card symbolizes competition as a positive force that motivates you to improve rather than viewing it negatively so I feel like you bring this person faith okay and you 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 are the competition as far as um, the way you walk through life. Like, it's almost like you are like a, a chess piece, right? And you are challenging this person to make their best move or to fail. Because I feel like you came into someone's life for a reason, okay? And uh, it's a positive force that motivates you to improve rather than viewing it negatively. So you are a motivation, an inspiration, a muse for this person to improve their connection with themselves as well as the connection they have with others simply because they don't like to be confrontational and they don't want to hurt anybody. But therefore that means that they always put themselves on the back burner. Okay, that's what I'm getting here life steps yeah life's journeys where each step represents a different stage we must take exactly so this is something that somebody is understanding that they need to move forward they need to take out the blinders the rose-colored glasses and stop chasing you know I'm hearing that song <laughs> uh, by uh, 
TLC. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Okay, so somebody um, definitely needs a little more uh, self-confidence and they definitely need to heal. So I feel like they ran across you at the right time. It feels divinely orchestrated. Okay, you have a rainbow over here. Um, so you are like Paradise Island. You are the best, like... There is a pathway with you, but you're also like the destined path that this person needs to align to, but they need to do that vibrationally as well. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see what else is going on here. Yeah, we have analyze, examine, and wealth. This person could be um, having trouble with their money or their wealth um, maybe there's uh, someone in their life that is yeah yeah someone in their life that overspends I just saw that meeting up spent and exhausted okay this person's got credit cards they got a bunch of things that they probably don't need so the person they're with they could overspend they don't really care yeah, this is a karmic cycle. Now, you could be the one going through this. Yeah, they live in a mansion, so this is a wealthy person. This is somebody that will spoil you, okay? That will give you the world. But they give to the wrong people because they have to learn. Consultant. So they may be seeing a consultant about this, a therapist, a psychiatrist, okay? they If they're watching you online and you speak of, like, higher vibrational things, um, they may see you as a consultant, okay? Orgasmic with blindness. Yeah. This could be a connection that has to do with uh, lust, the person they're with. Like, they just blind themselves and, you know, I guess stick to the chemistry they feel with that person. City with Queen of Hearts, okay? So this is you, definitely. Queen of Hearts. You may live in a specific city. I don't know what that's about. But I heard Golden Lights. golden lights and I heard lights of the heavens so this is giving me like you're in your own sort of kingdom energy this is like a metaphorically like with faith faith in God it's like you're in God's city, God's kingdom. You could have a golden aura. You're the queen of hearts. You have a lot of compassion. You have healing abilities. Um, you could be a heartbreaker also, a sweetheart. Not to mean that you're a heartbreaker on purpose, but your energy breaks a lot of hearts because you cannot be with just anyone. So you may have to break a lot of hearts, male or female. Yeah, there's a judgment here. So somebody has to go through their um, their karma, karma clearing is what I'm seeing there. We have intimacy with cruelty. Yeah, there's a signature with addiction. So I don't know what they signed up for here with this cruel person, but there is some sort of... Um, it's like they get together, like somebody may manipulate this person with sex or something like that. And it keeps them kind of blinded. Remember, I saw entity attachment. But there's signature with judgment. This is giving me that karmic 
contract they have to clear. And there's some sort of addiction, the man, that maybe they're unfazed about that this person has. Or you are unfazed about somebody with the lady and unfazed. You may be unfazed as to this person's addiction. Because I don't feel like you know this person, you're, but you're aligning to them. Yeah, you bring hope. We have village, and then there's jealousy here. With vitality and grief. Wife. So this wife knows about you. You're unfazed, though. You bring hope. We have faith. Two people. But you're unfazed about this whole wife thing and this man and, and some sort of addiction. I feel like the the cruelty is like, like someone's cruel to this person, but there's some sort of like intimacy manipulation, like sex manipulation. Yeah, there's going to be a breakup here. That's the journey this is going towards is a breakup and we have help the treason with steel yeah with battle and move with the world so you see what's happening there that karmic is is creating some sort of treason and stealing money from them that's what they're analyzing and examining so they're missing money and i don't know what the karmic is doing with it but they're stealing it uh, they could be stealing it slowly if they have a joint bank account they they may have a separate bank account that they're putting the money in like they're doing it in a sneaky way wow okay and it looks like it's about to pour so yeah the, the, everything is an omen so this person is probably going through a storm in, in that connection right now I'm also getting with cruelty like whoever they this karmic is could be kind of aggressive in the bedroom uh, I, don't, I don't like what I'm seeing there. all right let's get some tarot on this and Pisces uh, you know you may be the one going through this but I really feel like you're over here you're in peace you're living in abundance you're in connection to the most high you're in your purpose okay and Saturn is um, in your corner, but it's restricting this person till they learn a major lesson here. I'm going to put this right here. I'll be right back. You won't even notice I'm gone. Okay. I'm going to shuffle these one more time. I want to make sure, you know, I just got back so the energy is fresh. Okay. So, Seven of Swords. Wow. Whoever they're consulting with is lying to them. So they're getting some sort of misinformation here. Ten of Pentacles. With orgasmic. Well, you know what I just heard? This person's robbing them blind. So this person is being blinded to the fact that it's their money that makes this karmic. You know, orgasm I guess. <laughs> It says, your tendency to overlook the obvious when you avoid confronting unsettling truths. Somebody is stealing from this person. Oh, you know what I got? The karma could also be someone that handles their finances. This person, I feel, is very wealthy. And they're wondering where their money is going. But I also feel like they're... Uh, this person may be getting stolen from left and right from different people because I'm also getting it's the person they're with damn 
the fool. Yeah, your light is a feather, free spirited. You're on a whole new journey over here with faith. You you, you know your cycle, your new cycle, is um, all about faith and happiness. Letting this positive force motivate you. Okay. So you're viewing your new beginning and, and your ability to having to cut some certain things off as um, a possibility to, you know, as something positive in your life. Okay. You know, oftentimes these paths, we walk alone for some time. But you're viewing this in a positive way. Very good. Two of Swords. It also may be this person that has to make a decision. Maybe they haven't made a choice yet. Or you haven't made a choice yet. Okay. Some of you could know about this person. And... Um, this is giving me like some of you for some of you okay not all for whoever resonates um it's given like either you made a choice to close out a cycle with someone because they just couldn't see someone for who they were and they're learning that lesson right now or you're going to be faced with a with a choice on your journey once this person walks into your life okay seven of pentacles they've been robbing this person blind for some time so whoever they're consulting in it this is a fake they've been lying to this person giving them wrongful advice wow queen of pentacles if money is what makes this person orgasm <laughs> and this person is blind to it Wow, this person robbing them blind. Damn. Yeah, the wheel of fortune. So fortune favors you. I'm also seeing that you are, you have planted some seeds that will bear fruit here in a major way. Six of wands. This is victory, success, admiration. All right. You may not see who fully um, is admiring you at this time, but you are. You are destined to be in some sort of public eye. Some of you have an online presence and um, you are very admired for your who you are. Okay. Or what you do. You will have victory. If you're starting something new online, you will have some victory here. Some admirers, some followers, you know what I mean? Yeah, we have justice at the bottom of the deck. So justice it will be served here. Nine of Pentacles. There could be a Libra here watching, or somebody's watching you. You could have Libra on your chart, doesn't have to be, okay? I feel like somebody's watching you. You are very independent, self-sufficient, um, uh, just and fair. And somebody's in their head feeling bound to something. Okay. Uh, somebody could be dealing with someone that is... They may fear... Okay, this is what I'm getting. Because they're watching you. They may fear... That, like I said, that you may be a heartbreaker. That you may break their heart. You're an earth angel. Temperance. You take the middle path. The middle road. Yeah, you're high vibrational. But they may see you as a heartbreaker. Because this person does want to court you. But they're going through a battle that you're unaware of. Okay? You're very intuitive here. Yeah. And you speak your truth. So you do have some sort of hidden knowledge. Okay? Pisces. You may have air somewhere prominent in your chart. Libra, maybe in your rising or moon or your north node. And yeah, you speak on relationships maybe perhaps. Or this person feels, oh, okay, you maybe spoke some sort of truth. 
Because we have a somebody is in a relationship with a karmic, the devil. And they got their heart broken because they thought this was going to be a happy um, connection. It wasn't. They regret it. Yeah, there was a betrayal here. They're finding out some sort of betrayal. They're going to end up blocking this person. Okay? Because this person is stepping into their light. Coming out of the shadows. And I'm also seeing that this person is breaking out of self-limiting beliefs. So they're going maybe through some sort of purging right now. Okay. This person feels you are the truth. So I feel like this person, obviously, they're going to get their heart broken. Or they have. And they're coming towards you. But they have a little fear. Okay, they have a little fear. Alright, let's see what else is happening here, Pisces. Well, before I get into that, let's clarify some things. Tell me more about this consultant. swords but this is a king of swords in reverse with the seven of pen uh, seven of swords so whoever this person is talking to mm -mm, they're giving wrong advice the tower This person is stealing from... This could be like... Damn, man. Tower. Knight of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Robbing them blind. Yeah. I tell you, uh, slowly but surely, they were robbing this person blind. They're, gonna, they're putting an end to this. It's an emperor. The Ace of Wands with the emperor. And the King of Wands. Yeah, they're going through that battle at a distance yeah maybe some court things going on here as well or they have to take this person to court this person is lying so that they don't go to you this person has spoken about you queen of cups They've spoken about you, and I feel like they tried to make you look some type of way. Or they try to plant some sort of seed that you maybe want them for their money. Is also what I'm seeing here. But they're the ones stealing. The sun came out after that, so you're not in the reverse. You're, you're, you're actually a queen of cups upright. Wow. Let me get one more there. Yeah, the strength card. So this consultant was holding them back from a divine connection. Tell me about this orgasmic queen of pentacles and ten of pentacles. This consultant is saying that this person is blind. That they're blind to you because you want their money. Or it's the karmic here. So let's see. Let's clear this up. Yeah. Ten of Swords. This person is being betrayed by somebody that was juggling. Yeah, that's the lesson. Okay, so it is the karmic. They've been stealing, possibly connected to this person here. Damn, are they sleeping with that King of Swords? Oh, they're sleeping with somebody that's cruel. That's what that was. That has cruel intentions. Cruelty. Yeah. 
these people have addictions and they made this person sign something they're under judgment for that this person was unfazed and you're also unfazed as to what's happening here out of jealousy but there's gonna be some breakup the treason to steal and they're gonna move on the end birth of a new cycle a new path going towards what they desire which is you the explorer health waiting meeting up there may be a child involved here that they have to spend money on yeah friends cross this person the tower people that they considered friends cross this person that they admired right now during the summer prison conflict some sort of event and shift here roller coaster perseverance wow getting information and receipts yeah these people were trying to succeed at leaving this person broke and they're reviewing something over the winter about a, another lover about these two being lovers yeah deceiver this person made a choice in the spring to deceive this person and they thought their wishes were granted harm and destruction analyze and examine their 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 abundance they're gonna be surprised wow major betrayal happening to somebody here now for others of you because I, even though I feel like man whoever they're confiding in is making you look bad I feel like whoever they're confiding in is making you look like a gold digger like you would only want them for their money even though you don't know this person you may know of them but you don't know them personally I just saw 32 32 on the clock and they were actually sleeping with their girlfriend or their wife and stealing money slowly from this person while this damn and this person was completely blind to it it's almost like their intuition is telling them something but they didn't want they don't want to confront they don't want a confrontation confrontation is there it's gonna happen they can't avoid it but that's a major lesson for this person man that's messed up so let's clarify this two of swords for you yeah there's some sort of communication and six of pentacles some sort of reciprocity so your choice may be if you want to give to the situation or not okay after getting some form of communication here yeah it has to do with a relationship four wands yeah something you might marinate on for a little bit you may uh, explore your options with the seven of cups you're gonna be making a judgment call here so there may be um, another person in your energy that you are contemplating about already I don't see that person here but I do see options and the two of swords because you are being admired by more than just one person here and we do have competition okay so definitely you are going to come to a crossroads here when it comes to a choice in love a little friendly competition Whoa. okay we have Queen of Pentacles on your end so your path is leading you to stability as well a lot of self-love self-worth you're very grounded okay we have the five of cups and the ten of cups with the six of swords so there will be one person here that wants to come back around that broke your heart here 
and there's somebody new in your energy okay so take that how it resonates if you feel that's this person that was dealing with a karmic and all that and then they want to come to you all of a sudden after learning that lesson yeah you're the empress here somebody wants to start a family here with you and I feel like somebody else like broke your heart because we did have the three of swords with the empress so somebody went through some sort of battle and, and maybe perhaps wants to apologize uh, what else here yeah five of wands there's definitely competition okay take your time to make that choice and decision with temperance yeah knight of cups again um, with the chariot so you have some the chariot coming towards you and you have the knight of cups coming towards you you have the nine of cups coming towards you there's definitely a choice here with the three of pentacles seven of wands king of cups with the empress and justice okay somebody here wasn't emotionally available with the seven of wands and the king of cups maybe before but there will be victory with somebody could be a cancer for some of you or somebody has cancer in their chart it could be a Taurus here I also see Virgo Capricorn all right, let's see what else is happening here, Pisces. I don't want to take too long in these. Yeah, this karmic feminine is doing love spells. So they're doing, they could be doing sex magic on this person uh, to keep them bound. Yeah, they're going to be going to court. They're being ro blindly robbed. Yeah, they're going to be moving on. Moving on from that relationship. So this bitch thought she was going to get it all, you know? She was out here like, I'm rich. I'm taking all his money. Ah, ha, ha, ha. He's completely blind to what I'm doing to him and with his friend or his consultant, his fake ass consultant. Mm. Imprisonment, yeah. Laugh all the way to jail, bitch. Because <laughs> Saturn is here. You can't escape the wrath of Saturn. Sorry, that's karma, baby. Yeah, evil eye. Now you're going to be sending the evil eye from jail. Because this is treason. Okay? These people going to jail. Look at that. Sending death magic. Wow. Because why? They're getting caught up? What's after that? Yeah. Did a ritual. Probably this moon cycle. To tr death magic with transition. Return to sender, darling. False. Ain't gonna happen. False documents here. Oh, so they're doing death magic and created some false document that you passed away. So they're expecting this ritual to go through so that they can they can claim money. And I feel it's to this person because they're the ones with all this money. So they're, wow, man, these people are ruthless. Pisces, I don't know if you're this person with all this money or if, um... Or if it's the person you're meeting. Because we... I... I... Damn. I feel like the per, the karmic... That is... is The karmic female... Doing rituals on this man... To, to claim this money. They're hoping that this ritual works so that they can... They, they probably already have a false document about their death. Or they did some sort of um, life insurance fraud with this person and this consultant is a fraud yeah against someone that is connected to their divinity a nice guy wow that's the person you're meeting damn so this bitch took out a life insurance policy 
yeah, spirit of lust. That's this karmic with orgasmic there. So they try to, yeah, they try to manipulate them with sex. And they, they're expecting them to die any day now. Yeah, a fucking Jezebel. Oh, man. Emotional pain and blocked. This person has their heart blocked. Yeah, mature man with trusted. This man's very trusted. Wise, mature man. And this bitch doing fucking death spells. Yeah, these people don't get along. Opposition with divine feminine. Because they're trying to make you look some type of way. You're actually a high priestess. Exactly. There you go. We saw that Queen of Swords with the High Priestess and the Ace of Swords. You are tapped in to the Most High God. We have it right there. Faith in God. House. Surprise. Obsession. Rich girl. Yeah, this is this other person. So when they saw this house that this person bought them, when they were together, they were like, ka-ching, ka-ching. Okay, but for some of you, yeah, they're going to be in poverty. Okay, they, they're going to be in poverty. They're going to lose it all. Damn, this person thought they were winning at some point. Not if God has anything to do with it. Damn, these people are brutal. Let's ask a question here. going to jail possibly for death magic too what guidance is there for making progress in my love life at this time bottom of the deck what subconscious barriers do I have do I have that could be blocking my openness with this person yeah this person um, is afraid to show emotion that's why they got in this mess in the first place whoever's coming to you king of cups vibes or you could be the king of cups take it out resonates Okay. Um, they're afraid to be vulnerable. But then they get themselves in these situations with materialistic people. That plotting the most. Okay. Stop at nothing. I mean, death magic. Already got the paperwork. False documentation that this person is already dead. And they plan. They plan. That's a life, insur life insurance fraud. And they plan... Because there's still a, a marriage, I guess, there. Even though they might be in the process of a divorce or, or they're about to be. They they plan on that death magic to work. Therefore, their, their false, false certification of a death will be valid. That, that's crazy. What guidance is there for making progress in my love life at this time? I feel like that's for this person to be honest nine of swords because they're in anxiety over real love over loving themselves over speaking about love expressing themselves so getting over that anxiety by going within exactly by going within the hermit and um yeah raising your vibration and being real with yourself with the ace of swords and the devil it takes time. But this person needs to get out of this devil energy. This low vibration energy. So they need to surpass their shadow. And they need to be real with themselves. Whoever that's for. What subconscious barriers do I have that can be blocking my openness with this person? This person we already saw seven of wands with the king of cups they cannot be open towards you because they're afraid of being vulnerable because they need to heal hence the lesson that they're learning okay so they have subconscious uh, blockages that stem from heartbreak and traumas yeah judgment ace of pentacles 
understanding that they're worth also and you know not putting finances before um, their healing okay clearing out that karma all right and letting go of that also this person may have to stop going for just a pretty face is what I'm getting manipulative um, females that put them under psychic attack and this stems from some sort of family structure um, some sort of trauma yeah king of pentacles with the four of pentacles definitely this person needs to self-reflect and heal okay and not allowing these types of people to come this is the Jezebel energy that trapped this person not allowing these types of people to manipulate them because they need to be in their power yeah and they need to walk away because they're, these seeds did not grow whatever seeds they planted with this person this karmic stole them all they didn't share exactly taking a leap of faith moving on walking away and closing out this chapter so they can move on okay this person probably gonna not have much after this situation but they plan on this death spell that they did to work this person not having sex with this person not with the death card and the ace of wands with the five of pentacles they have passion with the king of wands here but there's some sort of conflict this is also giving me spiritual warfare and jealousy over the over you and this queen of swords ace of cups vibes okay yeah this is a past life connection this is a past life love with destiny six of cups ace of cups and they're watching you and the high priestess with the lovers this person feels that yeah there is a connection here there's admiration here this is a crush at a distance all right Pisces that's what I have I don't want to make it too long so let me know in the comments if anybody resonates and I wish you the best peace